Here are the nine films selected as Best Picture nominees. That is effectively the opening bell, the countdown to filmmaking's biggest night of the year officially underway. That thing looks human. Best Picture is always one to watch. Fantasy film The Shape of Water, a strong contender this year, leading the way with 13 nominations. The White House has been lying about the Vietnam War. It's up against the likes of The Post. I want to go where culture is, like New York. And the coming-of-age tale Lady Bird. Its star, Saoirse Ronan, also up for Best Actress. My daughter Angela was murdered. But she's got strong competition. Frances McDormand also in that category. Her three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, earning her a nomination. And the film a shot as well for Best Picture. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Up against Hollywood royalty, Errol Streep, another Best Picture double hope for The Post. And Margot Robbie for her portrayal of Tonya Harding in the skating biopic I, Tonya. The real-life story shocked the world. Will this movie wow the Academy? When will the lesson be learned? Gary Oldman's portrayal of Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour has been described as nothing short of outstanding by critics. He'll be hoping it earns him best actor. But he's got competition from other heavyweights, like Daniel Day-Lewis in Phantom Thread, a real threat to him. She'd take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. And even relative newcomers like Daniel Kaluuya for Thriller Get Out. We'll find out who wins on March 4th. This year, the Oscars are delayed because of the Winter Olympics. When they do arrive, expect teary acceptance speeches, expect rousing calls for social change. Because Hollywood is being watched in more ways than one this year. The Time's Up movement, the big focus. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. We heard from Oprah Winfrey already during the Golden Globes with a speech some even described as a presidential campaign opener. All of the women wore black that night in solidarity. And Sunday's Screen Actors Guild was an all-female lineup of presenters. As for the Oscars, undoubtedly the biggest of the ceremonies, which itself has faced accusations of racism, strong statements like these making a real difference over time. As you can see from the oh-so-white movement of the last couple of years, the last couple of Academy Awards and Global Globes, we've seen more people of colour in the movies, in the, in the directing positions, and actually being nominated. So we're slowly seeing the trickle effect, and I think hopefully it will go across all the industries. And so, a long, nerve-wracking few weeks for those nominees. And in the meantime, there will be talk not just of movies, but also of those movements, because there are clouds over this industry once again. And Hollywood, not for the first time, is having to face some very uncomfortable truths. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, in Hollywood.